back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Age of Fear 3. The Legend. It's been a long time. Ugh, I've been I've been looking at these games for, I don't know, months now. I'm just wanting to get back into it, wanting to play it. So thankfully, my patrons on Patreon did vote this as one of the... I'm super far behind, guys and gals. My headset broke. I have a whole bunch of little issues. But you guys, that's par for the course, right? I'm always behind. Anyhow, I get to play this again. I've been looking forward to it. It's here. It's in my hands. We're going to do it. I've been looking over the stuffs. There's a lot of things I don't know exactly where we're at, what we're doing, but that's okay. I do remember somebody told me that I have this troll, and I have the troll, and he is stinky, and that is why all of our people are super unhappy. So, that being said, I should probably get rid of the troll. However, before I do that, let's just see what his upgrades are. I mean, it, it, it's it's not a uh, troll thrower. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. The unit cannot evolve to troll thrower as there are no advanced units available yet. Upgrading is only possible on the recruitment screen. You must have gained enough experience and the advanced class of the unit must first be discovered. Well, I think I'm going to get rid of the troll. It may be a huge, huge, massive, massive mistake. But I'm going to say it's probably, probably okay. And, well, again, I did manage to claim the troll. I managed to kidnap him, steal him, convert him into paste. No, I converted him into, or onto our side, I should say. But I am going to dismiss him. And I don't remember how to, there it is, disband. I'm going to remove him, and all of our frowny faces are going to disappear. I would say that me personally, and again, this is fine. But me personally, uh, first off, I don't know how I ended up with such a high team size. It's fine. But I would say that I feel our reserve units shouldn't be, again, this is personal feelings, but our reserve units shouldn't be uh, penalized, or could should be penalized by having, say, a stinky troll hanging around. However, the units that are actually going into combat, going into battle, I feel like it's a little unfair. Well, we'll say a little unfair to have them penalized for having a stinky guy chilling back at base, you know, waiting for them. So if he's not part of the active roster, I don't think they should suffer the morale hit. But that's just me. Sorry about that, folks. All right. Anyhow, I, I wanted you guys to let me know down below in the comment section of the video what your thoughts are on that whole scenario. Do you think, again, it doesn't have to change. It's totally fine. It's just one of those things that I would like to see. But again, it would just make it easier, right? And you don't always want a game to be super easy or very handholdy. So right now, we're not rocking any of the harpies, if I'm not wrong. I don't see any of the harpies around. We do have the Dwarven Engineer, and I haven't taken a look at him yet. He seems to be fairly strong, and maybe he's a better choice than the Wyvern. I'm not sure, though. But let's see what kind of skills he has upgradable. We can get him some enhanced armor, because I'm a bit more defense. We can't seem to upgrade him to a Forge Master just yet. However, we could get him the Elite status if we get him the extra experience. That'll get us some extra things as well. He does look like he can be quite useful, whereas our our wyvern's a bit tapped out as it already stands right now. He he's kind of he's kind of at his wit's end almost, not quite there, but he, he's close. I'm gonna roll with the wyvern this time. I'm not sure how strong our current group is. We'll see. I had to take out one of my tree boys. You see him at the end down here. Good old iron bark, the ent from the beginning. He is still in existence. And unfortunately, well, he uh, he done got hurt in the last one, so he is out right now. We're going to disband a few more troops. I'd like to see if I couldn't get my numbers down a little bit. And then maybe, maybe at some point, we can start hiring some new stuff. Yeah, I know, we're losing a lot of uh, experience out of all this, and that that's okay. I feel like the, the whole concept or idea behind the... Uh, the Swamp Willow, the, the plant thing was cool, but is it really? I don't play defensively enough for me to really feel like these things are viable. So I'm going to get rid of one of them. I'll keep the other one hanging around. We're at 25 out of 18. I'm hoping the right-hand side of things improves, but there's no telling. I did see, and I didn't actually look at all the details because I'm a terrible human person. I do apologize. But I did see that the game itself actually has an update. I believe unicorns are now available and all sorts of other cool stuff. So... Either way, I'm excited to see what the game has to offer, what it's bringing to the table, and I'm excited to be back and playing it once again. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
That looks horrifying. All right, Ted. Grar. Rarg. Hey, uh, what are you doing here? Rarg. Do you want another fight? Busy here. Come back later. I think he wants to be your friend, Belvar. Friend? Ah. Uh, okay, why not? Ted, those are bugs. We friends tear bugs apart. Understand? Yeah, I got it. Okay, so we just... We gained a Ted, apparently. That's a, that's a thing that we have now. Oh boy, howdy. Does this look terrifying? Is it this button? Ah, there it is. It's that button. Okay, so what are those? Those are larva insectoid things. Unit information here. Uh, the insectoid young are soft, defenseless larva who's blah blah. They're confused. Uh, do they? Okay. Repulsive appearance can turn in the stomach. Any unhardened adventurer. Eventually a larva will grow into a worker or a warrior. But until mature, broodmothers and other members of their colony must offer constant protection. So I feel like we need to charge that down, or we need to hunker down and just try to survive. I feel like we have a few different options here. Now this is a brute. He doesn't have a lot of HP, but it looks like he hits pretty darn hard. He does have double attack, and what is Berserker? What does that do? Auto attack and melee. It's not fully controllable. Well, that seems bad. Or okay-ish. Bad. We're, we're, we're going to roll with bad. That seems bad. So none of these seem absurdly deadly. But, you know, we've got healing potions. We've got a brute's brew. The hunters are the adventurers and mercenaries of the insectoid world. They travel from their hives in search of both glory and prey. They're quick ad and agile and can spit deadly acid. Oh. Why, why'd they have to be spitting the acid, yo? Alright, so I think we should probably start maneuvering our troops around. I think the Wyvern can chill maybe in the back. I'm not I'm not expecting a tremendous amount out of him right now. So, I'm gonna try. I don't really have a frontline tanky type person right now. This is gonna be a, a little bit rough for us, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm slightly concerned with our, our current layout. I mean, we have him. We do have Ted. And if Ted can survive, I'll be pretty happy. But there's no telling if Ted's going to survive, you know? I mean, the Wyvern's okay. What's, what's going on with the Wyvern? Why does he have that red hammer thing? Oh, he's a berserker too? Its uncontrollable behavior may result in its own death. Auto attacks and melee. Uh, that to me means that we should probably consider getting him out of here relatively quickly then. Now, I wasn't going to push him out right away, but I mean, if he's going to start going insane and murdering our entire team, I feel like the sooner we get him away, the, the better off we're all going to be, probably. At least that's that's my thought process. You guys could possibly disagree. I don't know. Um, yeah, sure. We, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a rough uh, patch here for us because, again, we, we don't have a tremendously amazing way of getting our crew through here. And we have a lot of just plant-based dudes just chilling. Okay, well, let's let's begin. Who goes first? I guess the neutrals go first. All right. You guys done? Did you? It's my turn now. Okay, well, you can't seem to move. You, however, do seem like you can move quite easily. All right, so I think moving up here probably going to be the first play that I make. The horn, I mean, it's it's okay. We has the bear. And I'm okay with the bear. I don't know how nasty this is going to get. I feel like relatively gross. 
and somewhat painful and unsatisfying. Though, again, I'm not positive. I'm going to move the wyvern there, again, hoping that I don't get him killed. Or have him kill any of our people. The crystal gives us magic added to us? Yeah, 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 okay. That's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna move you up here. Where is my wand? Where is my wand? Say, is that yours? It is mine. Alright, that's fine. She can't do that, that's fine. Alright, gonna move you here. Move you here, hoping they keep it out of the way. Again, I have no idea how this is all going to play out. I am medium concerned right now. Very medium concerned. Alright, so let's get our medium concern into position. That guy actually had corpse eating, so... Let's end the turn and see what the fallout's going to be. Oh, they're fighting one another. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to defend these guys. I, I guess... And take on these guys. For all that time with Balvar, my definition of crazy significantly expanded. For all that time with Lexa, my tolerance of old, mean, nagging hags is diminished. Both of you, shut up. Well. I mean, it looks like probably by the end of it we're going to be having to battle everyone. But we'll start it slow here. They're all kind of baddies. That's right, I wanted to save the defending group. Alright, so I don't know if I, maybe I split my forces in the absolutely wrong way. I feel like maybe I did, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, turning on auto-collect items from the configuration miscellaneous menu will gather all items from the map after one battle. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah! Get poisoned, fool. Well, we, we sort of missed that. Alright, I'm gonna roll out over here. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm gonna roll out down here. Smackify you. Mm hmm. You're missing an eyeball now, aren't you? You're having bad times. Boom. Okay, I don't know that I necessarily want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I'm full of really terrible ideas. And that just seemed like one of those terrible ideas that I should just do. Spat on. I'm gonna scoot down. I'm gonna scoot over. Oh boy. This is indeed some rough stuff. Alright, again, I don't know what I want to do here. Like, I want to help out the guy, but at the same time... Well, we did do some some damage there. How can I get my fireball to blow up on some peeps? Hmm. I'm going to try moving here. We've already fired with both of you. I'm gonna roll out here. I wonder how my uh, my magic actually traverses across. I am curious. And how far out can I... Oh, we have the bee swarm. That's something else I learned. One damage. Oh, that's pretty nice. Can I can I move and use that? Well, I can't do it right now. Alright, we're gonna roll down here. I wish I could get a nice slightly better position here, but that's okay. Alright, who do we got here? Is it N? N. Smoriolus. I know that's not his name, but that's what I'm going to call him. Oh, by golly. Oh, you can you can conk him upside the head? Should I even do that? Yeah, why well, not? We missed. It's fine. Oh, I control these guys. Boy, I wish I knew that. I feel like an, I feel like an idiot. Run like the wind, Binky. I absolutely had no idea that I controlled them. I should pay more attention to things. Yeah. Get on in there and do some long division or something. I don't know what you guys do. It's, it's fine. 
Okay, so that's that's the thing that we did. The larva will probably eventually spawn and help us. I don't know. This is cool. I like it. Who, who did I who did I leave behind? This guy. Go ahead, double smack him. Yeah, you show him what's what. I thought we'd have like acid spray. Oh, do we? And I just missed it. Oh, we do. Oh, I'm a, I'm a doofus. Or it's only that one. These two guys over here have the acid spray. Everybody else doesn't. All right, that's fine. Let's end the turn. Let's see what the fallout's gonna be once more. Yeah, I hope he soaks some of the the hate because I feel like he's gonna be the guy. Oh boy. Yeah, I saw that coming. Uh huh. Yeah, you freaked out. Get your own boy melted. Partially your fault. Not gonna lie. Partially your fault. You're not gonna hit. Oh, you hit him. It's okay. It's not. It's not great. Uh oh. Oh, you wounded. You broke somehow one of our mar marshmallow, our mushroom men's uh, limbs. So I just watched something about uh, eating the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. It's kind of fresh in my mind. It's okay. Yes, I know it, it is weird. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little strange, but just it, it, it's okay. Trust me. Okay. Speaking of okay and acid. Let's do that, because that seems like a great idea. I hit one. Well, that's one more than I would have hit before with the thing, and I don't know. It's fine. Uh, I think I'm just going to punch you. Hey, punch him. Can you punch him again? No? What about you? Can you punch this guy? You can. Alright, I'm gonna double punch you. And then we're gonna have Lexa go and light up their lives. I like it. Make it so. Mmm, I felt good. Alright, cool. Ted, gotta get you in there somehow, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna run. You're gonna die either way, but. Ted, man, you gotta you gotta do you gotta do some stuff, man. You're lacking just a little bit. All right, looks like all of our bug boys, except for this guy, is done and over with. I'm gonna go and oh, I can't. Oh, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna back up over here. Just hang out with my my larva friends, cause you know that's that's how we roll. All right, I would like to cure. Cleanse. I would like to cure the wyvern because I don't know how strong the wyvern is. I care a little bit less about the mandrake root. It's fine. And if we manage to land attacks, we'll heal up with our mushroom guy, so that's cool. There we go. You land that attack, but oh, you failed me. You failed me. All right, spit on him, yeah. I'm gonna move you here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the wyvern. I feel like he's in a bad spot. I got a shot on you, which actually poisoned you, which is great. A shot on you as well, poisoned you as well. Our amazing elder mushrooms are just killing it, man. They are just doing work. All right, Nairi did some stuff. What do we have left? We have Slurpee just chilling in the back. That's okay. I I think I gotta move you over too, man. I'm sorry. I gotta get you down here. Okay, and that leaves us with the wyvern who can't move at all, which is again okay. And we get Slurpee up in there. Okay. So with that, I think we end the turn. Let's see what the fallout's gonna be. Down you go, poor little poisoned insectoid. And all of our poison slowly ticks down. Well, he got us with the second attack. Missed the first one. We're tanking like a boss. Like we're known to... Oh! We got a little uh, morale... Uh, 
declination there. Declining morale, I don't know what you want to call it, but... Not great, Mandrake Root got slapped a little bit there. They're spewing some more acid around. Oh, it hit Ted. Poor Ted. Come on, man. Come on, Ted. What's going on, buddy? You're a big target. Yeah, you're a beast. Battle Rage. Ooh. They're kind of they're kind of freaking out a little. They're kind of bugging out a little. You know what I mean? Eh? Bugging out? No. Sorry. All right, we we poisoned through one of them. The insectoids here. All the confusion, fear, and anger. We could have avoided those fights. Why can't I feel that? Because you're a violent and sensitive thug. It's true. Fair enough. It is true that he is a violent and sensitive thug. I mean. Like, absolutely. Hey, what's going on, man? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Life drain attack, vitalized? I... Boy. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I guess I just selected them too early in the, uh... In the deal. Oh, I missed. No. Yeah. Hmm. I can probably survive this. Oh, nice. Get him! Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You better flee. All right, let's get you to move here. Punches dude in the head. Huh? Yeah, look at that. See? Get a little bit of life back. Mm hmm. The wyvern's finally ready to make his move. It wasn't a very good move. Not gonna lie, I'm a little embarrassed for the wyvern. But he tried. By golly, he tried. Okay, what are we looking at? Anybody in like critical? No, we're, we're fine on that side. Let's go ahead and do the cleansing on Shayuala. Blah, 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 blah. Shuleos, I guess. I, I don't know. Okay, so that's fine. Lexa, what you got for me? Another fireball? I do. Well, I will just have to accept that and <laughs> enjoy. Is my Tag, you're all dead. All right, it hit one. Two of them resisted. Oh, that's weak. That is some weak weakness and sauce and stuff there. All right, gonna roll out over here. Gonna. Uh, well, I was, I was, uh, oh, you're you're my person. Ew. Gonna scooch up over here. I feel like I should have uh, probably moved him a second time. I feel like mistakes were made. I shouldn't be able to acidically blast anyone here, and indeed I cannot. All right. Big hit. Really messed him up badly. Cannot quite reach. Lexa's fine. Have to drop the brute. Hopefully. Technically, I could have stolen the brute. I could have kidnapped him. Well, smacks this fool upside his head, too. The reason I have that is uh, anytime I kill a unit, I get an extra an attack. So, right there, we just broke their morale with the extra attack. And unfortunately, I can't reach anyone else, so it has to pretty much end here. Which is, well, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's it's not too bad. And yeah, I'd say on this side of life, we're looking okay. I love the fact that clicking down here actually works now better than it used to. The game has improved since it's been released, guys and gals. That's one thing I really, really like about the developer and everything else is that he did listen to my gripes and I'm sure the community's gripes and just a lot of different feedback. And he's striven, strove, strided, I don't know, whatever words you want to use. He's really, really tried to make the game better, listening to like what everybody's complaints and everybody's feedback was all about. So that is admirable. That's admirable, guys and gals. It truly is. Alright, and finally, insectoid number whatever. We're just going to chill here. 
Again, not going to start breaking open stuff until who knows, you know, what's going to happen, so. Going to end. We still got some poison ticking away on us. I think we're going to be fine. Balvar has already succeeded at surviving it. That's going to be a bit unfortunate. I'm okay with it, though. I'm slightly less okay with that one, but he did hit his own guy. So, there's that. He's freaked out. He's like, nope. Deuce, deuce, I'm out. This guy's like, ow, that hurt. How dare you? And the brute's like, Ted, wanna play? Oh, man. He just destroyed Ted's soul. I mean, I was expecting Ted to be doing some work, but Ted just got worked. I'll wait till the larvae are done floating around. Do I have to do anything to, like, help them come to, like, full growth or what? Oh, Ted, buddy. Like I, I don't, I don't know what to say to you, buddy. You're looking, a, you're looking a little bit worse for the wear, man. I don't know how to help you. I mean, if I could land this attack and guarantee it, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. But I mean, short of that, what can I do here? Add defense. Target a slowed. Uh, we gotta heal you somehow. Curse. I'm just gonna throw a fireball in again. It seems like the right play. How sweet. Sure. Maybe we get lucky and actually hit more than one. Oh, we hit three. Oh, that was amazing. Well done. Alright. Can you guys clear out one of these for me? Oh, you can. Like a freaking superhero. Oh, I'm a big fan right now. Well done. Alright, I need to get up in here and do some work. You get wrecked. You better freak out. Because I want you, like, on the, on the fleet. Yeah, yeah, get. Get to stepping, buddy. Get to stepping. Alright. There's not much more I can do. we got to keep Ted as survivable as possible. Nari cannot heal from there. Oh boy. Um gonna move you here. Nairi can get within range over here. Try and catch me. So if she can get close enough, she might be able to get something done there. Alright, I'm gonna roll out down here with uh, Jotia. Jotia. Take you down. Then I'm gonna roll out down here with you. Smacking that mandrake root awesomeness. That was a little less impressive than I was actually hoping, but uh, again, that's that's okay. It's par for the course, right? Come on, land it. Yes, flee or run or do things. Oh, I hit that guy. I mean, I guess that's okay. I feel like the wyverns. Not doing a whole... Uh oh He might be having issues. I think I'm going to get away from him. I'll we'll follow this in. Wyvern seems to be having some problems. I like the fact that you can see down here at a glance which of your units are poisoned. That's a pretty cool little added feature that I hadn't seen before. I'm a fan. You. Alright. Let's get you up. We still... We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Uh, let's see. You can still land a shot. So go ahead and oh, you missed. That was a good try. We good try, little guy. Mandrake root. Come over here. Our wyvern's freaked out right now. This dude's still got some work that he can do, but yeah, he's just like, nah. Mm -mm. Not gonna risk it. I'm backing up. All right, we're gonna end our turn and hope for the best. Some more poison that could definitely be coming our way. The hunters are still in position. I'm hoping that Ted survives. Looks like most of them are freaked out and or retreating at this point. Not all of them, but most. Okay, so we're fine. There's nothing on that front. And I don't think they can get past our boy over here. Yeah, we're, we're good. We got this. Don't even worry about it. There's some small 
bosses? Nothing, nothing too big. And most of it was uh, other creatures, right? Like, none of our actual people struggled or suffered any. There you go, Ted. I got you. See, look at that. Fully healed. How much did I just heal him for? Holy jeez. Three plus one per level? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're, you're good, Ted. You can do whatever you want at this point, buddy. Um, I guess I'll just roll out over here. I sort of want to hit the other guy, but I'll hit you. Don't worry. Oh, we're coming for you. Smoriolus over there. Get on in there. Okay, 50%, pretty good odds. I'll take it. I'm gonna roll out over here and get myself situated for some goodness. I uh, can't really do much with you. I'm gonna scooch on down. Slurpee, you're also a little bit out of range. Scoot over here. The wyvern's still alive. How long is the poison last on you, buddy? Unit info. One more turn. I'll just back you up. You really didn't bring much to the table. I'm not going to lie. I feel like you were kind of wasted here altogether. That's okay. We don't know until we try, right? We don't know till we actually give it a shot. So let's waddle on in here with you. Have you do some cool stuff. You're getting a wound on him. I like that. See a little bit of uh, awesomeness. Keeping ourselves healthy, wealthy, and wise. And 60% hit or miss. That's eh, fine. Can't quite reach. I will scoot on in. And oh, look at you go over there. Maybe make up for that missed shot. Oh, I thought you had it. I thought you had it, buddy. You didn't. All right, you're fine. Let's go ahead and end the turn. I know we're getting well. We're already over time, but I think we're gonna try to finish this one up. And I think that's gonna be okay. So we'll get through. We'll go and we'll we'll loot everything, and then we'll we'll see how it goes. I'm debating whether turning on auto loot is something I want to do or not. I kind of enjoy going through and like searching everything at the end of the map. It can be tedious to a degree, but at the same time, it's like a little reward, a little treasure hunt. Sometimes you find other enemies to fight. That's more experience. You know, there's there's good things about the after battle thing. I think I'm going to leave it off for now, but maybe in the future I'll give it a shot. Hopefully everybody's okay with that. Oh yeah, Ted. Get up in there, buddy. Get some vengeance. You, you you didn't you didn't get any vengeance. You just kind of unsucceeded. I, I don't I don't really know what you're gonna be able to do, but well, we'll see. Hasta luego. Let go my ego. Well, we defeated one of them. This dude's just like wrecking fools here. He's still freaked out. You're you're hanging in there. All right, Belvar. Let's go see what you can do, man. One and done. Give me the done. There it is. He is a beast amongst beasts. Like literally, right now, he's like a beast amongst beasts. Um. Yeah. Why not? Let's go chase down the runner. Okay. Take it. Maybe else wanna make a run for it. Good old shot there. Got 30%. Oh, that was a miss. Can't quite reach. Gotta scoot up. What about you? Yeah, you got that 40. <laughs> oh, come on. Get that 50. There it is. All in the poison. Yeah, he's done. He is absolutely done. This guy's probably done too. Oh, oh, you're freaked out. You're running. Where are you running? No. Oh, no, don't run. No, you should have been positioned better. Oh, oh no, he can still make it. And you're done. That leaves this guy who's going to die to poison, and that's it. Nothing else matters right now. The battle has been won. Uh, no, I don't want to leave the battle yet. We're going to go and we're going to do some healing and all sorts of cool stuff like nice that. The try. wyvern's going to come back. 
Let me get you to waddle on away. Have you end the turn. Again, I'm going to have you waddle over here. I am going to cast a healing spell once more onto Say, you, because you, know, you done got wrecked a bit. You did. You done got wrecked just a tiny amount. I'm going to have you guys back away. I think Lexa's in an okay spot. I'm very, very, very worried about what's going to happen over in this area when I start looting. So we'll have to see. But I think with Ted and everybody else in position, I think we'll be okay. So we'll see. So yeah, this episode's going to go a bit long, but... I think that's fine. Alright. Let's throw a big heal up on Belvar. Just to make sure he's okay. Well, I mean, we can keep doing this. Got it. I guess we can end the turn again. And then, yeah, she's back to full. Everybody happy. Try and catch me. Okay, so we're good. Ted, go open some green bags. What do we got? We got ourselves a lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. All right, Belvar. Get on over there. Break open a crate. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You got this. I believe. Alright. Let's go ahead and break it open again. Nothing going down with the things. I'm, I'm still assuming that they're fine. But, yeah, we'll see. There's a barrel down at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and position you guys to slightly better. Get you guys into position as well. The wyvern's going to be along the side here. I think I'm going to have you roll up over here. That's unfortunate that he got he got a broken bone. Or he gots a broken bone. It's a bit unfortunate. We're not finding much of anything. It's a bit unfortunate. However, there we go. We got 100 gold, and we got meteor iron armor. That sounds impressive. Whether it is or isn't, I don't know, but it sounds impressive. It's space bar, right? Yeah. Oh, there's something there, too. Oh, I just dug up a treasure chest, because I'm a boss. Okay, we got ourselves another 100 gold. We got a Brute's Brew and a Ringo Magic. And a Goldman's Amulet. I'll take it. Yes. Sounds good to me. Nice. Let's just quickly go and, and spread our yes. wings to the far corners here. If there's any other little uh, hidden secret places, I doubt that there is. But you never know. Darkness is my way. Yeah, I don't see anything. And really, I should be using him for, like, all my movement needs. Because, I mean, I mean, look at the dude. He covers, like, 85% of the map in one go. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I think we can end the battle. And we can end the... Yeah, we'll just end the battle. Yep. I think I got everything. We'll see. I've been sent a report of a huge what? column of insectoids emerging from the Undercroft. They're fighting the other insectoids. It would be nice if these adventurers would actually give me detailed reports of these things and not these cryptic scribbles. The what? heck does a rotten insectoid mean? Are they dying? Dead? Undead? Plagued? Next time, I'll be springing for proper mercenaries. At least they give a certain military standard of detail in their reporting. And better artwork. So, looks like he sprung for some voice acting. I would have loved to have done that. It's okay, though. It's good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the world map. That took a little bit of time, but there you go. And there'll be a few more episodes following this up, and I'll be doing something on the week of April 8th, and I'm hoping that I'll be doing some of this game, or perhaps I'll be going back to the first title in the Age of Fear series. So look for that if you guys are pretty, you know, if you like this and you're excited to see it. Um, maybe it'll be a live stream or something. I don't know. I don't have all the details worked out just yet, but 
There's definitely going to be more coming, and it's not going to be anywhere near as delayed as before. I don't really know what I need to do next. These all seem like these are places I can go. I'm not sure why they're all grayed out. Were they always grayed out? I thought they were, like, colored if we could do something. Oh, well. It doesn't matter right now. It's, it's fine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until the very next episode, which should be in a... I'm hoping in a day or two. Don't hold me to that, but that should be the plan. Uh, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. I really like the features I've seen. Hopefully you guys do too. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, guys and gals. Just from this episode to the last, if you're following the series, do you like the improvements? I really like them. I like the voice acting added in for the narration between stuff. I like it. I like everything that I've seen. It feels much better. Things are clickable. I mean, it's good. Lots of improvements. Awesome. Anyway, until the next episode, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>